Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am going to try filming this video quickly. I have construction going on in the backyard and in the front yard and it's just very loud. And there's also going to be a few delays, you know, videotaping these. But hopefully you guys could bear with me. I'm trying to squeeze in a video for you guys. So yeah, um, this box took quite a while, which I got um, these supplies from Things for Wings. It took a while because of covid and shipping stuff just are kind of hectic right now so it took a while and i also think it took a while because i if i'm remembering correctly i got pellets but um the owner of the website i think she was telling me like the not the website but the store i'm sure you guys know what i'm saying but i think she was telling me how she gets the pellets from america and she has to cross the border and yeah it's kind of a whole ordeal because of the covid stuff so yeah but it came i think it's been like three weeks i don't know yeah i think three weeks definitely over two but it's okay when i took muffin to the vet i already got pellets so yeah they're using those pellets but yeah i actually forgot what i got but um yeah i'll show you guys um because it's been a while so i actually forgot what i got but yeah um these are the oh i think i know what i i think i know what i got so i'll show a close-up of all of these but um this is a watermelon perch let me see if i could take it out i'm using one hand but yeah i'll show you guys a close-up of everything but yeah, this is just going to be way too difficult. So I'll show you guys a close-up instead. Um, This is a watermelon perch. I actually got this for Cookie and Muffin. And Cookie's not here. But um, I still plan on getting the cage for Muffin. I don't know how that's going to turn out. But if I do end up getting the cage, um, I wanted something that was going to be more disability friendly. I did have one of these watermelon perches. But it's a smaller one. And Kiwi really likes that. And I find it a bit small. Although my cockatiels use it as well. Because I kind of switch the toys in between them. Um, I think a bigger one. I think they would like it a bit more. So I got this big one. And then let's see what else I got. I, I think I got a few other stuff. Oh, I can see it. I think it was kind of like... Um, and I'm just completely going for it. But okay, these are in two different packages. Oh, Okay, I'm going to try squeezing one out. And then I got this. It's a perch. Um, I don't ever see anything like this. I think this is how it's supposed to be, actually. I don't see anything similar to these kind of toys. So I got it. It's it's actually pretty much a cube. And it's very simple. Um, but I wanted to get it. I know some people like different shapes when it comes to perches. But... I have quite a lot, so I don't mind the simpler stuff, so this seems to be good. Oh, well, seems like I got quite a bit of flat perches. I think that's mainly because, oh, so I was actually wondering where the washers are, because typically she has them with the washers, or she'll have um, kind of like, um, what do you call it, a selection of, do you want it to come with washers, which I always say yes, but I think now it makes sense, because she put them all in this which i think is actually very neat and very nice so i'm just gonna put that to the side okay oh my god i really like this one okay so the back is seems like it's just empty so you use it this way and the sides have these oranges i think you were able to pick your colors and there was different colors but i really wanted orange simply because one orange is a really really pretty color um i think they had blues pinks purples and you could even customize it so you could even have your birds names and stuff on it so yeah i really wanted orange i don't really see a lot of parrot shops using the color orange so i was like you know what orange seems like a good color so yes these are quite big so if i were to like that's my hand and yeah so it's quite big i forgot the measurements but i'll have everything down below for the specific toys but i actually really like this one as well well i had to cut the video but anyway we're gonna continue on um this is the other thing i got which is called banana bliss it kind of looks like this um very interesting um 
those pink stuff should be rose petals and they look really pretty it's oh they're all organic so that's good it has buckwheat hemp hearts fennel seeds um red banana flakes and rose petals what's red banana flakes am i reading it fun? okay i don't know what red banana flakes are but um right i didn't sleep well so i don't know if i'm reading it correct buckwheat hemp hearts fennel seeds red banana flakes rose petals is there something called red banana flakes maybe i don't know my fruits well but anyway maybe it's a typo i don't know i might just be an idiot but this is what i got um you could put it inside your um mash um so it's saying sprinkle half a teaspoon over fresh food or steep in hot water for a few minutes so this is good i really wanted something very different for my birds and you know in the morning sometimes i want to be quick i don't really want to you know spend a lot of time in the mornings i have stuff to do so you know just for those days i have this at least they could kind of have something different i don't think i would be using it every day but um yeah i i think it's a nice touch to their food let me show you guys what else i got i think i got this before um did i let me see i'm actually checking the ingredients uh maybe i didn't never mind um i don't think so um i got something similar to it maybe yeah i think something similar to it this is organic garden mini feast um i think it's because it's for smaller birds and they have a lot of ingredients and these are all organic um so that's nice um they have stuff like pumpkin seeds bell peppers um blackberries okay so i do think red banana flakes is a thing um i probably am a dummy i don't know what that is i swear to god i'm gonna get judged so badly um but i don't know what it is i'll probably have an image of it but this is at least what it looks like it it looks really nice um i really like it and i think the way you add this is just add it to their mixture um it's it's something you add in like a dry ingredient so i'll probably add half a teaspoon like i said on some of the days where i'm feeling a bit busy also some of you guys know that i add um seeds for my birds um, I could talk about that on a later video, but instead of adding seeds, some of those days I'll just add this. Kind of replace the seeds in a way, but this also has seeds like um, thistle seeds, and it also has like stuff like hemp seeds. So, yeah, and it has millet too. So, I mean, yeah, I think it's okay. Like on those days where I don't want to give seeds, I could just give this, and hopefully they like it. I'm not gonna bother bother today why can't i speak opening this i'll show you guys a close-up but this is the rowdy bush pellet i'm gonna leave it in here it's actually quite heavy um again i think i got this because what's it called um shipping was a bit crazy and i think it took a couple of weeks so just as a backup um i got rowdy bush which again my rowdy bush pellets finished my birds really like rowdy bush actually um all of them really like it but i think kiwi really really likes it so i still use it but i also use harrison's mainly and believe it or not they don't love love harrison's they eat it it's just that harrison's is a bit of a better um pellet brand but rowdy bush isn't horrible um but um harrison's is a bit of a better option i can show you guys the harrison pellets but i'm sure you guys already know what they look like and it looks like I got three, right? Yeah, so this is what it looks like. Um, but yeah, I got um, Lifetime Fine. You could get also Super Fine. Um, it really depends on your bird's preferences. My budgies don't mind the fine one. Um, so yeah, I use this. Some budgies, you know, they do require Super Fine. Um, but my birds don't really care. So I'll show you guys everything um, in a minute. But yeah, I got I got not many stuff, just a couple of stuff here and there. But let me show you guys everything. So this is the end and I wanted to recap everything for you guys. I got my Harrison's pellets here. I have the fine pellets. And then I have my Rowdy Bush pellets, which is my backup pellets. 
and then few stuff to kind of give to them which is one the banana bliss which could also be fed dry and warm and then the organic garden mini feast which could be fed dry and then i have this very basic perch um in a watermelon design a platform perch again in a watermelon design and then this orange perch which kind of looks like oranges or flowers i don't know but it's kind of a very nice neat, um platform perch but yes this is everything i have i have t-shirts down below um if you guys want to check out my t-shirts and hoodies make sure you check them down below um you guys could follow me on my tiktok my instagram page um i'm also very active over there um or if you guys just stay on youtube you guys could also check my community section i often try posting at least once a week over there i hope you guys enjoyed the video oh i forgot to show you guys these are the washers yeah so i didn't show that but i already have the washers um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video i know some people are gonna ask me in the video did you find cookie when i find cookie I will let you guys know immediately, but I unfortunately, I haven't found her. So yeah, um, but this is the video, um, a mini haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it, guys. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.